Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Chandra Awesome. Today, I'm going to be sharing my experience of taking Onshape Professional Certified Exam. Uh, and also, I will be sharing my personal experience and how I face up these challenges and uh, and also how to crack the exam uh, with some tips and which will be helpful for you. I hope this video will be helpful for the people who are going to be considering taking the exam. So without skipping the video, please watch till the end and understand what I'm going to share. Understand what I'm going to explain in this video. Okay. First of all, guys, uh, the day before each day, I just given the onset professional exam. Okay. In that exam, I can say that this exam is not at a easy. It is uh, pretty hard and at my suggestion, you should be uh, good at speed modeling or else it will be very hard for you for at the beginner. Okay. So I'm going to uh, share with a step-by-step -step guidance how to get the onshore professional exam. Okay. First of all, just visit the website learn.onshore.com. Okay. This is the in this is the interface of learnonshore.com. And here you can see at the at the top of it, it shows that onshore professional certification program for the professional. And you just need to click on exam details and it will take you to. Okay. So when I click on exam details, it will take to me the uh, courses. See, it's going to be taken on shape learning center. So at here, what you are going to accept is it will show you what are the topics you want to should need to consider. And you can see it will show it will take you to the shopping cart with the dashboard and this is the exam to be used. So it is explaining that the exam length will be 180 minutes, which is nothing but three hours. And the certificate can sub two sections, modeling section and knowledge base section. Okay. And if you should get scored about more than 70% or 70% or more than 70%, you will get certified or else you need to take the exam again. So this is the exam topics you need. It will be covered. And when I'm performing the exam, they all set the all topics are covered, guys. Okay, the sketching, description, assembling, data management, general settings, and exam preparation. So I recommend you that please come to these courses if you want to take this exam, or else it will be very challenging for you to complete it. So at the beginning, I didn't complete these courses and jumped into the uh, examination and faced very difficulty. Okay, and Please consider the and complete these courses. And uh, we have the retake policy. If you can't complete the exam in one attempt, we can attempt as many as names as we want. But we need to purchase uh, the certification for every time if you want to start it. Okay. So when you pay the bills, it will show the start certification like this. Okay. Or else if you would have watched it for from that also you can fill in the certification exams like this. Okay. So I'm going to enter the start certification. See, these are the course details. It will be hundred dollars. Okay. If you want to enter now, click on it and you need to pay the hundred dollars. Okay. Then you will get the chance for attempting the exam. So let's start the click on the start certification. It might it's for me only showing my because I already attempted the exam. That's why it's showing for me. So this is the exam certification details, guys. So upon clicking on this thing, it explained that upon clicking on go to exam, you're provided to on ship certified enterprise, which it means it will retake you to the enterprise account for only completing the exam. After completing the exam, you will you are removed from the enterprise automatically. Okay, so and you need to be sure that we have. Then you can only complete. It will be have only sharing documents. Okay, and and you can't download or export those documents. If you can, if you are going to try those export documents, then go exam will be stopped at that same time, and you 
which remain as a not complete the certification okay these are the sections which here explained the before okay so these are the recommendations and guys please follow these recommendations because dual monitors is recommended is definitely recommended you can't complete with single monitor because uh, you will have the two tabs one is for one is for uh, on chapter software and one is for documents you will, you will have two uh, uh two accounts two on chapter accounts one leave with the enterprise one leave with the your normal account so first of all it will show you the drawings okay let me show you for example for example let me show you on chapter So let's click on images. Okay. So let me show you. Okay. So here you can see that like this images, you it will be asked to you. Okay. So it will give you details like this for part. and also the dimensions of the part in this first okay in the first section in this modeling section in this modeling is you need to do part modeling so it will show you the drawings like this and you need to complete the drawing with the dimensions and also and also the 3d model okay after completing the model the basic question it asks like it is go asking you the uh, mass output okay the answer should be like you need to give answers on mass numbers we not this not going to evaluate your designing skills it will evaluate the output so basically it will ask you to uh to print modern histogram modern histogram after modeling it will it will give you the material details so after applying the material details to it you will get a some set 10 mass and you need to enter the mass values as a answer if you if it is correct then your uh, modeling question mark allotted the mass completely okay so like this we have we have to complete uh, on five diagrams and you need to complete the five models after that you will ask for the assembly modeling in the assembly modeling section it will give you the uh, already designed parts so with the design parts you need to assemble the model as per the uh, instructions given in the questions okay so it will ask you to design assemble the model according to the question you need to assemble all the parts so after assembling the same question to block it will ask the center of mass of the whole of product okay so don't worry it will step by step guidance is there to answer the questions but the most challenging in this uh, examination is the time management guys you need to you can't complete your modeling section in 180 minutes it's pretty hard the boss uh, if you are not able to complete the designs faster okay so i recommend you to please practice speed modeling then only you can able to complete this on the professional examination okay so it is just taking me okay so and the assembly also we need to as as fast as possible to complete the assembly model okay and it will ask you the context context assembly model which means the uh, it will take you to uh, designing the model from assembly to the context part to do and after that it will ask you to change the dimensions of the part model as a given so you need to practice this five modeling sections and and it is the pretty hard this is for 50 points and this is for 2 points total 100 points okay and for the knowledge base section it will ask you to choose the cut answers so you need to um, put add the shortcut keys and the document related um, questions and uh, are also account settings and about the 
tools what are the questions about branches curves about the tools about the sketchings it will ask the all related uh theoretical questions of, out of 50 questions each question carries one mark so if you are completely do the 50 questions for 50 marks it will be the plus point and for taking the model section only for 20 points then automatically you will get the certificate so you don't need to totally focus on model section only so i recommend you that first of all complete the knowledge based section first and then come to the modeling session then only it will it, it will be easy for you and you will get more time for per, performing the exam without any tension okay so this is the examination guide so uh, and make sure you should have the dual monitor it will be easy for you so this is the interface you can see after uh, entering the virtual board or by the certification so it will have to go to the exam so after clicking in but so it it will show me some error why is such so because i have already completed the exam see certification exam was already taken if i want to take in i need to buy the uh other package okay this is this is how you can take the certified ownership professional exam with the steps guys so i am going to give the summary again so first of all you need to be put that uh, uh speed modeling before you want to complete the modeling section okay after that you need to you need to good data uh, on shape tools shortcut keys and app on settings branching versions and also sketching and and all theoretical uh, concept of on shape okay and I can't share the questions with you because it is uh, not uh, approved. Because uh, because uh, if I can't if I can able to share those documents are like this, you will I will get uh, terminated for for attempting the exam again. So that's why you can't able to do that. But I can make a video with this uh, with this pattern, so it will be helpful for you to take the examination. So okay. So in the upcoming video, I'll definitely make a video on this. So it will be very helpful for you. And these are the assignments you need to complete. Nothing but this one. This is the assignment details. Uh, after you complete the examination within the time, the result will automatically evaluate it to you. So if you get pass, you will get a certificate. If not, uh, it will show you the result through email or it will show at the same time only. So, according to my personal experience, I didn't complete this certification. The challenges I faced is I don't have a dual monitor and the internet connection is so weak. So, you better have the good internet connection to done the modeling faster. Okay. And the, you, you better take the uh, uh, examination in PC instead of laptop. And you have a power backup also. That is also important. And, uh, a thing but you need to put at speed only these four skills four things to be considered mainly and you can able to come this certification and if you want to do the practice that is also available here so okay just uh, visit the online uh, onshare.com let's come to the home page which is the learnanshop.com and here you can see the certifications click on it so on this page it will show you what are the certifications are available and this is the which I had completed the professional certification and you have other call certified associate that is worth $50 and certified professional that is $100 okay so and we now free certification that is practice exam so i recommend you to please take this exam and get certified then it will be more easy for you to complete the professional or else associate certified examinations okay uh, if you want to take this click on it and you need to enroll for enrolling you need to click on enroll option 
So it will automatically take you to the uh, pages. So these are the details what what we have to complete. See, it will explain in fact is the exam documents. We should take the exam. That's I mean educated students and learners. Anyone can take this examinations. And these are the uh, tips which is covered in this examination. So it is very useful for you to complete this. See, set question to exam. Why did set question to exam? We can explain the author details. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so if you want to take this, so click on it. For example, it's only just include just the exam. You need to click on the end of the links. So it will show you some details like this. So these are the details available. So for completing this balling section. So like this it will is okay guys, it's showing me it's a quick Google help body. Like this it will show you the only viewpoint uh, documents. Okay. After this I ask you to complete the questions like this. So it's as it's showing see. It is asking the to design the document and after the modeling it will assign you the material after the playing material it will ask the question like what is the mass of the part so you need to either choose the correct answer or you need to enter the value okay like this you have the values like this and this is the hint like this hint is available sometimes it asks you to change so you totally have 10 questions for modeling and assembly completely. Okay. You need you can check this out the PDF. And also I agree with the link in the description. So you can check in, check it out directly. <laughs> okay. After this starts with uh, this is the assembly you have to complete it and do the modifications. Okay. So after that, after completing the 10th question, like these questions, you can face this. That is about Choose the cut of the all. So like this 10 questions available. So you need to complete this uh, all questions and a question like this. So check out this uh, link guys document. So it will be helpful for you to complete the examinations. Okay. Just come into the previous page. Sorry. Okay. The sharp coming in the back. And the full documents include. So, it is also showing the tips for answering questions. Okay, you better just check it out the both document details. Okay, guys. Or else I will do, as I mentioned, I will give in the description and check out it. Okay. So that is my experience, guys. How I gave the certification exam in on chip for professionally. Okay. So, so we just need to focus on speed modeling and improve our skills and get set to buy professionally with on chip. And if you are going to be start the examination, all the best for you guys. And I hope this video will help with the put on the useful content for you. And thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe our button if you want to watch the videos on OnShape on other cat platforms. Thank you. Have a nice day.